Hi, if you are curious about the inner child work, then in this video, I'm going to share with you my experiences from doing this work as a clinical hypnotherapist. And I wanted to share with you what in my practice have been most successful. And I will have a book recommendation if you only are willing to do this work on your own. I'm Joanna Zajusz, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and a certified coach in Phoenix. People don't usually search for their inner child. The inner child is searching for them. People usually don't come to me because they are curious about their inner child, because they want to heal their inner child. No, they have an issue, they want to solve the issue. And as we are working on discovering the cause, the source of that issue, and so we can heal it, we stumble upon the inner child <laughs> that is waiting there somewhere behind the curtain of the subconscious mind, waiting to be taken care of, healed, and protected. So uh, the clients I helped, they did not need therapy. They simply wanted to improve performance, relationship, certain skill, people who had suppressed or repressed anger. They wanted to improve their emotional response. Mothers who had either a newborn or a toddler or an older child who noticed that they start to have emotional reactions to their child that reminded them of their parents' reactions. And they knew that it would create some sort of wound. So that is one of the most beautiful examples of how awareness, self-awareness, can help people stop inflicting wounds on the next generation. They want that to stop with them. Oh, actually, I'm recalling another example when the inner child work can be necessary is when somebody wants to lose weight. So those experiences will influence our sense of identity, who we believe we are. Maybe you believe that you are not smart enough, not good enough, not pretty enough, not lovable, not worthy of being in somebody's lives, if, for example, your parents divorced. So the memories will come back and they will come back in moments when we feel vulnerable, when we are vulnerable to triggers. If we don't do the inner work, if we don't really know what is going on in our mind, we will believe them. It's like we will recreate those situations from the past. Okay, so you come to a session and how do we discover that you have an issue that we need to take care of in your childhood? People are even either going to talk about it. They will know consciously that the issue they deal with today, that they want to improve, originated in the past. They will know the moment. Or it may happen in hypnosis. I'm making it very open-ended. So as we are searching for the problem, using the power of the subconscious mind, that memory will come up. And then the client will share it with me after the session. So if the person doesn't have any idea about when the problem originated, I may do age regression. And in the age regression, we are going slowly to the past, checking, in a way we are scanning for the life's experiences until we find one that the client connects in their mind that this is when the problem started. As a hypnotherapist, I cannot assume that something was the significant event that started the problem. When a client shares with me their past experiences, I cannot say, oh yeah, this is why it started and this is why you have this issue. No, no, we want to avoid it. I want you, the client, to make that connection. So what is the most effective, the most successful method of healing the inner child? It's when we go to the past to the times when something negative happened in your life and using few simple quantum 
energy principles, we do the healing work. We change the past. We rewrite the past. We heal the scene. You can imagine different things in the past that should have happened if you were protected, if you were treated like an important, lovable human being. So when we change the past, rewrite the past, and we create an emotional experience in your subconscious mind and in your conscious mind at the time of doing the hypnosis work, then there is a shift that is happening in your body, mind, on the level of your subtle energy. It feels like a wave of energy moving through that space. I feel it here in this room and we both feel it in our minds and in our bodies in the same moment. When I'm doing this work on Zoom, the person feels it in her body the moment it happens. And the most important thing that when the person goes into the real world is acting and responding emotionally from that new space, the results are completely different than before. If you want to do this work on your own, there are many great exercises in this book, Recovery of Your Inner Child by Lucia Capacchioni, who is an art therapist and psychologist. And this is the kind of book that you cannot put down. It would be your friend, okay? There are different books. Like I have right now different books on my desk and I am reading some of them for the past six months and I'm on page four and I don't remember what the first three pages were about, but this book reads very well. You will just flow through it and the exercises are simple and effective recovery of your inner child, the highly acclaimed method for liberating your inner self. I will link it below in the description. And if you want to do this work with somebody, go to my website, positivelyrebellious.com, schedule a free consultation. Of course, the link is also below underneath this video, and we will see if we are a good match to create this healing magic together. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked it, subscribe, help me get to 2000 subscribers and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.